Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tip. I'd like to show you another, or rather technique, I'd like to show you a split thread technique, something that we use quite often on uh, small flies, uh, for smaller trout flies, nymphs and that sort of stuff. It's a very simple technique that we use when you want a, a more buggy finish on the fly. Um, I often use it when I tie nymphs, when I tie the abdomen with a with a normal sort of the roll on dubbing technique and you get a softer or smoother finish and when you use the this technique you get a slightly more buggier finish uh, so I use this technique on the thorax and or the roll on technique on uh, the abdomen for instance we use it with coarser dubbings you can't use it with two coarse dubbings but it works very well with a softer dubbing like his here where there's some guard airs in and you really get get those guard airs to stand out so what you do is you you put the thread on your finger forefinger take a sharp needle dubbing needle or something like that and split the thread now once you've got that you take the the dubbing, I'm going to use a, a camel dubbing, which is a kind of a, a soft dubbing with some guard airs in it, and spread it out like that. Put it in the split thread. And you can do a much longer piece as well, depending on what you need and how much you need. I'm just going to do a short piece just for demonstration purposes. Take your finger out, and you've got the dubbing trapped in the thread there. Lift it up so it's horizontal and then twist the bobbin. Now you need a bobbin that is well balanced. Uh, there are a lot of these offset bobbins on the market that will not twist properly. So when you intend using this technique, make sure you've got a bobbin that is very well balanced so that you can spin it. Uh, so as you spin it, you can you can spin it once or twice or maybe more. You'll see the dabbing will start to twist in the in the thread. Very slow, but it will start to twist. Grab the bobbin and let go of your index finger on that side. And you'll see it will twist even more. Those twists will run up in between the dabbing. But it's not twisted enough. It's not tight enough. So what you do is you take your index finger on your left hand or your other hand and just run those twists up. And if it's still not tight enough, just give the bobbin another spin and do exactly the same, just repeat that process until you feel that it's that it's tight enough and it will form a very nice little brush that that works very well when you when you finish up uh, when you when you tie a, a thorax on a nymph or when you want to tie just one or two wraps on a collar behind a bead it works very well. Now I'm going to use it with uh, show you with a few different um, materials um, different dabbings um, to see the different effects and then very easy you just wrap it onto the hook pull those hair back and you can see the buggy finish that you get on that on that dubbing and that is it now what happens is if you don't put enough dubbing on to finish that part of the fly and you need to repeat the process remember that the thread is twisted now and you need to untwist that before you can split it again so you can either let the bobbin hang and unwind for a while or you can tie it off and with a few whip finishes tie it off cut the thread off pull that a few times to unwind or just pull a piece of thread off the bobbin and restart that with a fresh piece of thread that's not twisted like that and then, you, and then you can repeat the process so the next dubbing I'm going to show you with is, is hair's mask which, which is something that I use quite a bit when I tie nymphs and I need to get a buggier finish and uh, because there are very nice guard hairs in the, in the hair's mask in some areas of the hair's mask so you, I've got a little bit of hair's well, the dubbing cut off so I'm going to split the thread again and then put that in and different dubbings obviously will give you different effects split that put that in there 
and you can spread it out once it's trapped in the in the um, the thread it's very easy to spread it out a little bit make sure it's nice and even and then give it a good twist um, we use it with CDC there's different effects I'll do it I'll do another video on on, on how you use this technique with CDC um, CDC dubbing CDC threads with clamps uh, we'll get to that at some point but this is just repeat that process and run those threads up now you can see the finish on that let's wrap that around the hook and see what it looks like quite a bit different from from the from the uh, camel dubbing now it will also depend on how much dubbing you put in that in that split uh, obviously if you put Put a lot of dubbing in you're going to need to twist it quite a bit to get everything trapped um, i tend to well I, I like to use less dubbing rather repeat the process make sure it's neater um, and the last one i'm going to do is just with a little bit of cdc dubbing and now you can use this with synthetic dubbing just don't you it's, it doesn't work well with harder very coarse dubbings then i'd rather use the the, the dubbing loop um, and I'll put a link to the dubbing loop video in here as well if you want to go and check that out but um, this works very well with softer dubbings now I'm going to just tie this off and repeat that process again with the CDC dubbing uh, it works well with some synthetic dubbings um, like the, the grips uh, fine super UV or the light bright pull that piece of that thread off cut that and restart the process Split that and put some CDC in there. I like to use it with CDC dubbing when I when I tie beads on a fly, and you just want that little bit of a collar, you know, especially on caddises, where you want a little collar behind the beads, just with with a bit that will add a little bit of movement. But I do use it on on my foam wing hopper. I use it on quite a few dry flies and emergers as well. Split the thread. Put the CDC in there. It's always quite a bit of wastage with CDC. And give it a good twist. that run those twists up you can see it makes a very nice little brush and very easy to wind onto the hook keep pulling those fibers back and there you have it with CDC. Now I'm going to, to zoom in a little bit. Let me tie this off. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the finishes from close by. And then um, you can go and try it out. Definitely a technique worth knowing and using. Okay, so there's the, the three techniques or the three dubbings that I used with the split thread technique. You can see that it creates quite a buggy finish in the dubbing, whether you use camel dubbing, hair's ear or, or CDC. 
Uh, the CDC is very nice when you tie emerges. I love fishing emerges. It's definitely a technique that you need to know and uh, use it. Start to implement it on your flies in the areas where you want a little bit more of a baggy finish. Uh, please uh, follow the channel, please like the video and uh, keep an eye out for more techniques.